presented with limited commercial interruption by the following next gen savvy web 2.0 green sustainable urban culture brands Monsanto, Dow Chemical, Coca Cola, the CIA, the neo Nazis. Yeah, all of them motherfuckers. Go to our Facebook page, you stupid, stupid piece of shit. You motherfucker. I don't even know how you got in here, but you were a cunt. You were a motherfucking cunt. So here we go. We're about to walk by a store where well-off people are buying garbage. The garbage store here in Brooklyn, a local garbage store. Here we go. Just heaps and heaps of clothing that you don't need. Just trash, garbage, furniture, stuff like that. Scraps of paper, probably little porcelain figures that nobody ever wanted in their life. And there are people going in there, going in and coming out, paying good, good money for all the crap. And that is a doozy. <laughs> it's Williams Williamsburg. I used to do stand-up comedy. I decoupage things. And I'm just fucking it with my tongue. Williamsburg corporate stores with quite authentic, creative feel going on. Don't fall, dickhead. <laughs> uh, velour. <laughs> it's Williamsburg. <laughs> Jeez Louise. All right, we're live here in shitty-ass Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Home with a loser. Hey, this is Rockabilly Rebel Johnny here in Williamsburg, Brooklyn at the Brooklyn Brew House. Okay, guys, today we're on uh, H&M Fashion Weekend. Hey, what's up? This is Lipstick Larry for Dyke Magazine. Now, overall, guys, your fashion sense right off the bat is very bad. But if you could sum it up in three words, what would they be? Uh, random, awful, and possibly uh, ugly, maybe. Now, describe Brooklyn chic. What does that mean to you? Uh, nifty. Street. Comfortable. I think I look cute and, um, a little Japanese. <laughs> I like that. Just <laughs> describe it in three words. This is going to be a throwaway question. We're using this question to make you believe this is a real interview, but we're going to cut it out anyway. Um. What's chicer, Paris, Tokyo, or Brooklyn? Paris. Brooklyn by far. Brooklyn by far. Paris. Brooklyn by far. Um, I'm originally from Massachusetts. Uh, Big deal. Yeah. What kind of shoes are those? They're Puma. I got them like in Madrid like five years ago. And uh, they're still like a favorite item. So, where'd you go to school? <laughs> uh, to Bard with a Bobby. You brought them at the Youngstown Mall in the middle of New Jersey. <laughs> No, Tiago didn't buy him in Madrid. <laughs> All right. Now, Bard, according to topschoolsus.com, that is what, that's the upper 90th percentile of uh, Jewish lesbian schools. I think so, yeah. Yeah, that's why I went. Okay. Fashion sense. This <laughs> be honest. Do you, th do you do things for attention? Everyone does. Don't we all? <laughs> do you do things for attention? Be honest. Um, yeah, I think we all do. <laughs> which I'm not going to explain, and I have one here, which I am going to explain if you ask me to. What is that? This one is for unity. I like that. <laughs> I have no idea who either of those people are. What about the other one? How about if we ask? Uh, if you ask, I won't answer because it's a different like term that. every day. Oh, okay. Cool. I don't know what that means. S12, is this a bit loud? Yo, me and Dollar Extreme will be returned after these messages. We'll never stop sharing our memories or getting lost in a good book. We'll always cook dinner and cheer for our favorite team. We'll still go to meetings, make home movies, and learn new things. But how we do all this will never be the same. Bitch!
Erica, are your parents divorced? No. Are your parents divorced? No, they're not. Nope. Are your parents divorced? No. No. Nope. 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 No. No, not at all. Are your parents divorced? No. Parents are together? 25 years. Very happily married parents. Yeah. Are your parents divorced? Uh, no, they're not. No, they're not. Are your parents divorced? Yes. Yes. Thank God. <laughs> they were never married. They're, they're best friends, though. <laughs> what? Never married, but they're best friends. How's your relationship with your father? Pretty good. How's your relationship with your father? Very good. Very good? He's like my best friend. How's your relationship with your father? It's wonderful. Fantastic, especially when he gives me good stuff, like money. How's your relationship with your father? Crap. Oh. My son is a shit-eating faggot. How's your relationship with your father? How's your relationship with your father? Good. Strong. Awesome. Really good. Fine. Three great homes and three supportive fathers. <laughs> wow, cool. Do you talk about women with him? Mm-hmm, yeah. Really? Yeah. Do you tell? Do you share, like, stories of conquest? Um, not in so many words. I wouldn't... I don't like the idea of conquest, but... Well, I mean, if, if you know, everything's perfect and the patriarchy's destroyed and we're all living in gender equality, do you share stories with your dad? Oh, yeah, sure. Good. Uh, he's very supportive of all my endeavors, uh, even though he's a very academic. And these rings, in fact, are from H&M. They're stackable packet rings. You can, you know, take an individual spin on it. How's your relationship with your father? He's dead. What does your dad do for work? Uh, he works for himself in risk management. My dad is a financial advisor. Owns restaurants. Your dad's a financial advisor? Yes. My dad drives an Audi. Uh, Nifty? An Audi. Which which model and what year? Um, fuck, I have no idea. He's a lawyer. Oh, he's a lawyer? Yes. Okay. What type of law? Uh, mm, I don't even know the name. Sex crime laws. Uh, where'd you get your rent money last month? Last month? My parents. Where'd you get your rent money last month? From her. Um, from my family. I work. Working by mitzvahs. Right. And yourself. Right. And I sling pizzas. I redo uh, houses. So no help from the parents there? Absolutely not. Fantastic, especially when he gives me good stuff, like money. My dad works at Walmart. <laughs> True. Where'd you get your money the month before that? Um, nannying and go-go dancing. No parents involved there? Um, they may have given me a couple hundred bucks, but yeah, other than that, no. Oh, just a couple hundred? Where'd you get your money for rent the month before that? Music. And from work and from my family. It's a combination. Work and family. Hmm. How much do you pay for rent? I'd rather not share that. <laughs> Uh, nifty? Uh, nifty? My dad drives an Audi. Uh, nifty? Uh, he works for himself in risk management. Come to Brooklyn. Come to Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs>